okay so, so this is some of the stuff that i am going to be making for thanksgiving i know it don't look like much right <laughs> this is just some of the stuff but i'm having a hell of a time because all of my eggs are literally like cracked i dropped the whole damn thing so now i gotta go back to the grocery store and get some eggs i'm gonna go to the store and apple pie <laughs> These were the closest, so I had to get these. I wanted my organics, but whatever. I am going to put my eggs on for my potato salad and then also make some cornbread. Kangaroos is funny. Okay, so we are going to start off with our cornbread muffin mix here. And I'm just going to mix all these ingredients up into a nice little mixture. And this is for my cornbread for the dressing. And then I'm also going to make some cornbread muffins. I'm just going to grease up the pan here. Get it nice and right for that cornbread. And off we go to the muffins now I'm just gonna make about three muffins because I am just cooking this for myself this is a Thanksgiving feast for me myself and I so yeah I thought I was gonna make four and then I was just like skip it So we have almost done, not quite. So this is my cornbread. Okay, so here we are preparing the cabbage. I am cutting them into, well, I'm cutting it into four parts and then we're gonna place them in a pot to boil for about 25 minutes. And I think I'm just gonna season these with some sea salt and pepper. Okay, so I'm just about finished struggling with my knife to get the, the core out of this cabbage. Um, I'm just going to pop these in a pot and let them boil. A little sea salt and pepper. And we're done. Okay, so we have our white potatoes and our sweet potatoes. Just gonna give these a quick rinse. 
And then I am going to just dice these bad boys up for the potato salad. And then I'm going to slice up the uh, sweet potatoes for the candy yams. Alright, and now we are going to slice our sweet potatoes for our candy yams. And shout out to my grandmother and my mother because, yeah, they helped me with the seasoning and everything. That's why I couldn't record that part because a sister needed some help. <laughs> okay, so we are going to get into chopping up our eggs for the potato salad. I'm just slicing them thinly and then I'm going to go in and dice them up a little bit make them really fine to my liking and then i'm going to mix in my other ingredients for my potato salad so that's what's up next Okay, now we're gonna get ready for the dressing, okay? One of the main events. So here I got my celery, my bell pepper, and my onion, and I'm just gonna slice and dice these bad boys up and get them ready to go into my um, chicken stock. Okay, so we finally got those veggies, veggies chopped. Take a look at the candy yams. They are looking fabulous. Now I'm gonna take the vegetables and pour them over into my chicken stock. Warm it up on the stove for a little bit and then I'm going to mix this all up in with my cornbread mix. And then we'll get ready to prepare the dressing. And we're gonna do a little taste test here. 
I do this a couple of times to get it right to my liking. Um, and then I'm gonna just take the mixture and pour it into my cornbread mix. We're gonna add an egg in there and then we're gonna get this bad boy prepared for the oven. Excuse the um, picture here. I was on the phone with my mom talking to her about this dressing as well. So yeah, I was a little bit distracted when filming this part. And grandma's final touches, two slices of butter and in the oven it goes. All right, so now we're gonna get into this fish and I didn't want any turkey or ham or any like really heavy meat so I decided to just fry a couple of pieces of tilapia and we have our egg here to help with the coating for the batter so I'm just gonna batter these bad boys up pop them in some olive oil and fry them on both sides lightly and then also yeah I'm gonna get into some stovetop macaroni too okay and then I think we're gonna be finished And there is the infamous stovetop macaroni. <laughs> I'm just gonna boil the water and cook that up and also fry the fish up and then we will be all done. Okay, so we're gonna let the dressing sit in the oven for about 20 more minutes. It's looking good. Our macaroni and cheese is done and we're all set. Thanks guys for checking out my channel and I'll see you in the next one.